Alrighty, so NWA Danby, Plax W. Uh, eight seed, one seed. Small bracket this week, Plax W. Uh, still a good player, but um, yeah, we're gonna see how this happens. Uh, Danby opting for the Bayonetta pick. Danby plays like a million characters, so it's not really like weird that he's playing Bayonetta or anything. Plax a Cloud main solo. Um, the big thing about Plax that everybody talks about is he has no matchup experience. Unless he, like, okay, if you're fighting Plax W and you play a character that Layton or uh, Sam plays, then uh, Plax W might be a difficult time for you. But a lot of the time, Plax just, like, doesn't have that much matchup experience, you know? He, he doesn't really play Bayonetta that often. He doesn't really play, like, weird characters, Little Mac, so, stuff like that. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, he is a conservative... Uh, limit player, so he, he'll hold on to that limit for, for days, man. It, until he waits and he knows what you're gonna do. If he knows you're gonna like roll, he'll throw it. If he gets a setup, he'll throw it. But otherwise, he likes to hold it for recovery and, and try to get the kill other ways. But uh, Danby, of course, putting this man in a body bag right now looks like 126% and and more. Danby has had complete stage control and won every single neutral exchange pretty much. I, I feel like Plax has only really nickel and dimed him once or twice. Already taking the stock, wow. I think he meant to do side there, not fair. And he's playing super patient too. He's waiting for him to do something before he actually goes in. Yeah, I think he's just playing reactive. He's got the lead now, so it's super easy to do that as Bayo. And, oh, this is looking bad. Oh, oh, Banana kind of me maybe messed that up. Slowed him down a little bit. I don't know. Oh! Oh, there it is. Wow! Smash. Four smash to the face. Don't waste time there, I guess. That, that was definitely an unlucky wish time. But sometimes Band needs unluckiness, I guess. Okay. Interesting. He's, he's, he's slowly inching his way back into this game. Danby... Well, that was his last side B and up B, by the way. So if he somehow managed to mess that up, he might have been in a really bad spot. Okay, edge guard situation. Nope. Plax jumping over. Dan B on the downside? Oh, wait, no, he's back on stage. Yeah, he, he's gonna wall jump and then side B or back air. And it's super free. Like, it's pretty safe. And Plax really has to be looking for it. And so now he might start looking for it. But, you know, the first time that you see Dan B do that, when Plax, or when he's close, is like. Kind of hard to react to. Considering how much reach he has and where Danby is, do you think he can just kill him with a side B? Uh, on ledge? On ledge now, I think. Yeah. I mean, Danby's got good DI. Oh, that's that's what you look for. That's what you look for right there. That, that was a limit rip, dude. If you find that Nair, it's such a... It's it's like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's one of those situations where... A lot of the time, you could just follow your opponent and wait, and that was a terrible time yeah. to use your limit. You you have to wait for the getup, and and you can react to it. Like it's not if you just spend time in, in training mode, play a character that, that has good ledge trapping, play Diddy, and and learn the the nuances of ledge trapping, and you can just do it with side B. And uh, excellent stuff to Danby. Pretty close game, honestly. Good stuff to Plax for staying in there. Um, yeah, he actually got he almost pulled it back. Yeah, you, you're not gonna find air dodge reads on Danby, so I was gonna say like maybe he could find a random like limit uh, down B, but obviously you're not really going to find those opportunities on someone like Dan B. I mean, I guess you might. But when he hit that Nair, he, he followed and waited for the air dodge and then hit another Nair. Instead of Nairing there, side B. Or side B below where the air dodge is going to end and then you're going to fall right into it. Cross dash is a long move. Yeah, it's really long. This has no ending lag. Literally none. It, also, if you get cross slashed on shield and your opponent tries to punish it with like a smash attack, yeah, guess what? Just, it's not a regular punch, smash attack. You, li you literally, it, what I do is I cross slash and then I down smash right after. If I'm not in death percent, I just down smash right after. Poke, poke him in the eyes, that's how you win. Yeah, exactly. And oh, that was a bad down air. And that might be stock. Oh no. Okay, no, Black saving his jump. Good stuff, saving the jump there. He's really good at making. Should he have used limit right then to stack for sense? Uh, I I would because he has trouble like getting in on Bayonetta in the first place. So maybe he could have used that percent right then. I mean, I, honestly, I feel like I, I, I'm okay with him saving it there. It, it's not like he was that far behind that he really had to. And uh, the, the SD, wow. All right. And he's got limit still. Uh, this is a situation where I would okay right here right here. Oh okay, never mind. Um, you want to know something that that. Danby does when he plays Cloud that, that I've picked up on and that's a very good not not only Danby but if you're if you're like without a jump and you know that you have to waste limit like okay here he has a jump still 
and he's getting hit up. That's so weird. Um, you can throw limit neutral B, and if you think you can still make it back, and then up B. So that you don't have to waste all of your limit on the up B, you know? You can still make it back to stage and maybe get some percent. I don't know, that's a bad explanation, I guess. Uh-oh. Right, I, I know what you mean. Like, uh, the neutral B, like, pushes you slightly forward, and then you're a little more yeah. safer while you're up in the air using flying out there. And oh, even... that was a perfect chance for a forward smash. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think he just presses buttons sometimes when he's away. I, I like the way when he's on when he ha when he has you when Plax has you in a ledge trap situation, he plays very reactive. He's really good at baiting you into doing something and then hitting you with the back air right back off stage. Oh, that's a damby classic. That's a damby classic. I've never seen that before. Okay, Elrox can't do it because he doesn't have smash stick. Damby has smash stick, I think, and even if he doesn't, he knows how to do it. You can do the the forward air and if it and there's a way that it doesn't pop you up and if it does then you can just punch him in the face and i think it's true i'm pretty sure it's true uh, actually if it's not true then there are very few things that can beat it maybe like a beam with marth or something i don't know anyway ggs to uh dandy and plex